The most powerful open access large language model is Falcon 180 billion parameter. You read it right. This is 180 billion parameter model that is coming straight from Abu Dhabi Technology Innovation Institute. So Falcon 180 billion parameter model is a new model that just got launched today that has beaten Llama 2 in Hugging Face leaderboard. Now the Llama 2 model that it beat is 70 billion parameter model. So I'm already started wondering what will a Llama 2 180 billion parameter model will look like. But anyways, this video is not about Llama 2 and it is about Falcon. So let's get into the details of understanding what this Falcon model is. First of all, I would like to give you a heads up that this is not an entirely open source model. There are a lot of complications in the license that we will discuss in this video. But to put a perspective on this, Llama 2 was trained on 2 trillion tokens. It was trained on 2 trillion tokens. On the other hand, Falcon model has been trained on 3.5 trillion tokens. That is huge, very huge. And if you see the details, Hugging Face has actually put out a very nice blog post for you to understand about everything about Llama Falcon 180 billion parameter model. The Falcon 180 billion parameter model is a scaled up version of the 40 billion parameter model. These numbers are going to absolutely blow your mind. It has been trained on 4096 GPUs simultaneously using Amazon SageMaker for a total of 7 million GPU hours. 7 million GPU hours. That means Falcon 180 billion parameter model is 2.5 times larger than Llama 2 and was trained on 4 times more compute. And I'm still trying to get my head around this fact that with 7 billion GPU hours, 2.5 times larger model with 4 times more compute, the difference in the benchmark score that we are getting is so minimal. I'm not saying Falcon is a bad model. All I'm saying is all the effort that we have put in making this model bigger, more training data, more GPU, more number of hours is only to gain this one, one point. Um, I'm still trying to figure out that how this is great for a lot of things. But anyways, that is totally for a different discussion altogether. So Falcon 180 billion parameter model comes in two different ways. One is the chat model. The second one is the base model that they've released. The chat model is available on Hugging Face Model Up. The base model is also available on Hugging Face Model Up. You have to agree to the terms for you to use the model. That's how you can use the model. And if you were to use the model, you need at least 400 GB of memory. You read it right. You need at least 400 GB of memory. And that is the only way you can use this model. Getting into more details about if you were to use the model, there are different ways how you can use the model. First of all, if you were to use the GPTQ, the quantization or the quantized model or the int for quantized model, you need at least 320 GB of memory. If you were to do the inference on floating point 16 or BF 16, then you need at least 640 GB memory. The way you can manage 640 GB memory is you can rent 8 A100s of 80 GB memory, or in this case, you can rent 8 A100 of 40 GB memory. If you were to do training using QLoRa, you need at least 160 GB memory. If you were to use full fine tuning, you need 5120 GB memory. 5120 GB memory. That is eight times of eight times of A100 of 80 GB GPUs. This is so, so huge, humongous. Now coming back to the model in itself, this model ranks at very top of Hugging Face leaderboard. As you can see the kind of advantages that it has got. It has got a leaderboard score of 68.74 and Llama 2, the 70 billion parameter model is second best, which has scored 67.35 that is the score. The, the first version of Llama is 64.23 and Falcon 40 billion, which is not bad to be honest. Like you can see Falcon 40 billion scoring 61.48 while the Falcon 180 billion parameter model has scored 68.74. So I'm definitely quite interested in knowing that how these model sizes scale up and how it impacts the leaderboard score. If you have any more information on this, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to do more research and read about it. But if you generally see the Falcon 180 billion parameter model, it is almost on par with the Google Palm 2's large model on a bunch of benchmarks like Hellaswag, 
and uh, web questions and vinograde and all the other options if you see the aggregated one shot performance uh, in terms of percentage of accuracy the palm 2 large model is here and falcon 180 billion parameter model is here much better than palm 2 medium small and palm default model so it's on par with almost with a palm 2 large model so so far in this video whatever we have learned we have learned what is falcon 180 billion parameter model we learned a little bit about the architecture and the training details we learned about how does it fare with all the models that are available we also learned about how does it fare with open models that are available on hugging face leaderboard and we also learned how to run this model now the most important thing that i would like to turn your attention into is the kind of details um, that they have added in the license first of all this model comes with a license called falcon 180 billion tii license version 1.0 I'm going to make a separate video about how completely messed up open source licenses in the AI field, but that's a separate video. They call this license is a based on Apache license version 2.0, but it is with a series of modification. Now, what are those modifications? It was quite hard for me to understand, but the main modification comes in here. Starting with, first of all, if you were to use this model, you have to say that you shall include prominently any, any public statement regarding a derivative work name of the relevant derivative work is built using falcon llm technology from technology innovation institute it might seem like a fair request if you were to build like a fine-tuned model if you were to use it anywhere then you have to call it out very clearly that your work is built using falcon llm technology from technology innovation institute they missed abu dhabi here but anyways so that is one important requirement you have got in the license but the other thing is the most important catch here is that any hosting use means use of any work from falcon 180 billion parameter model or a derivative work which is a fine-tuned model to offer shared instances or manage services based on the work like if you were to do it that is what they are calling as the hosting use so the hosting use cannot use this license so hosting use cannot use this license so you are not licensed to use the work or derivative work under this license for hosting work so if you were to host this and offer a offer let's say an llm endpoint offer like another service then you cannot use this model for that particular use so what is available i'm not a legal expert still this is like quite murky for me so the use of derivative works to provide applications and integrated end user products which use the derivative work in the background shall not be considered as hosting use so for example let's say you've got a product and in that product currently you are using openai and instead of OpenAI, you suddenly decide to use the Falcon 180 billion parameter. Maybe you run a startup called AI Girlfriend and you want to use this model Falcon 180 billion model. And that is what it is happening in the background work. And that shall not be considered as hosting use they've said. So what is hosting use? Hosting use is explicitly when you host this model or any other model and offer as an endpoint. Like for example, OpenAI has got its own endpoint. And instead of that, if you were to use another endpoint that is whoever hosts that they cannot host that using this license so if you were to do that where you wish to make hosting use then you need to have a separate license you need to apply to tii for permission to make hosting use of that work in a writing via hosting application address and any search work TIA has to give you permission for you to do that then only you will be considered as a hosting user so this is the biggest catch in this license i'm not sure it how many people it is going to in um affect and i'm not even sure how many people are going to use this model given the huge size of the model and how relevant this model might be in different lines of work but this is one of the biggest catch in this model this is not like entirely open source even when they say it's a modified version of apache license 2.0 it's not entirely straightforward once again please do not take my advice like whatever i've mentioned here this is my understanding but if you were to use this model for anything, please consult like some legal expert to make sure that, you know, you are using it in the fair use. Otherwise, this is like slightly messed up in this regard. But other than that, I would say that this is honestly quite an impressive piece that we have a 180 billion parameter model. And um, the fact that we have a 180 billion parameter model makes me feel good on the one side that, you know, we can train bigger models. But the fact that we have 180 billion parameter model that is just doing one point better than the existing model on hugging face model leaderboard 
makes me feel sad honestly to be honest like i don't know if this is how model scaling is going to work like i have seen this kind of thing happening on kaggle competition people would spend like days to improve just 0.2 score or 0.3 score i'm not sure if this is the future that we are looking at maybe you know we should start investing and doing research more around things like mixture of experts than scaling a single model i don't know i don't know if that is going to like taper off our growth but anyways this is our new model that we have got this is the best open source i don't know if i should call open source this is the best open access model that is available or open model that is available you can go ahead start using it all the details are available here there is a demo that they have put together so you can go ask questions that you want like i i just asked hey falcon any recommendations for my holidays in abu dhabi in fact like i'm planning to visit uh, uae in some time dubai but yeah any recommendations for my holidays in abu dhabi you can go and get the answer you can ask questions again uh, and it is going to give you the answer i think uh, the way currently it runs it it runs on a special hardware in itself but i guess like it's going to be really hard for anybody to try out this model until you know some very weird version of quantization comes into picture and then you get to use the model but anyways if you have got a 400 gb 400 gb memory then you are probably one of the luckiest in the world for you to try out this model and this model would probably be there with you for you to use it as an alternative for open ai i'm not sure if it uh, beats gpt4 in any regards given that uh, it is just slightly above llama 2 but yeah falcon 180 billion parameter model is here and uh, let me know in the comment what do you feel about it like do you feel that this is great do you feel this is great but if like what whatever you think let me know in the comment section i am definitely looking forward to read all the comments in this see you in another video happy prompting